Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Zips, and welcome back to Wild Frost. So hopefully, I've... Somebody in the comment sections of one of my previous videos mentioned that, like, the quality of my videos was not as good as... Or not what it should have been. I looked in... It was... I was guessing it was an OBS setting, and I was looking into that. I'm guessing it was because OBS wasn't saving uh, the, the videos as MP4s as mp4 files i fixed that now it is so hopefully the quality of the video the video quality in these videos is better anyway we're back with a bunch of friendly goobers mod this is the fourth video i've done on this having a good time i don't know if you guys this is like the second video you guys are it's probably going to be the second video you guys are getting today that's probably what i've decided to do it so hope you hope you guys enjoy the double upload today so We've played, done a run with Sasha. We've done a run with question mark, question mark, question mark. Now we just have a run to do with Bucket. So, Bucket here. When hit, deal equal damage to the attacker. Special trigger hog hit it. So, Bucket here basically is a portable, a portable bite box dispenser. I haven't done a run with Poochie so far. I think I'll play Poochie. Let's try it. Let's get Bucket in there. Let's see what this leader can do. So, how is my day going? My day is going alright. I, I might pause for a second to turn on my AC. Turn my AC up because it's really hot in my room. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, where's my pause button in OBS? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, why... I don't want to stop recording. For some reason, I it's not showing me the pause button in OBS. Okay. You know what? We'll just do this recording. We'll do this recording normally. So let's get Poochie down. Wait, Poochie is you. Oh. Wait, I have like nothing going on in this first fight, huh? Oh yeah, I have fucking shotgun to the face. Why don't I use that? Alright. Um... Yikes. Alright, well, let's hope this does it. We don't die here. Bucket is dealing 5 damage, which is pretty good. Although, this porcupine did decide... Okay. I will just shotgun to the face the porcupine. Let's get this out of here. And then I'm going to focus on... Oh, the Crestal Rifts do have... Oh, and the Crystal Rifts have Spark. Check that out. So this plus Poochie is actually pretty is a pretty decent combo, actually. And anyway, I I have been told that Poochie's that Poochie's text is incorrect. So where it will give it will not just be to care to units that are drawn. It will be to all units, include I'm pretty sure including characters that we create ourselves like the crystal rifts here ah shit i'm killing the goblin ah i'm not thinking correctly absolutely should not have done it like that and then you do it like this and then you do it like this when he did it like this i'm thinking of a song but i don't know what song song i'm thinking of couldn't tell you so yeah Nimbus here is just gonna. Ah, oh, it's not dead actually because. Oh well, it's fine. So, Poochie plus Bucket should be okay, but I would like to try to find some stronger units. That would be a good decision in my eyes. God, having. Get, getting my OBS settings re. like reset, it has been so annoying. I really just need to take, like, a screenshot of, like, the, my OBS settings, so if, like, if they ever get re reset it, I will, like, ha be able to just revert them back to what they once were. Luva. I don't know if I want to take demonized Luva. Special trigger. Boost max turn counter by one. 
So I'm seeing one of Voix's videos. I think I might know what Luva. Although I know Voix has done some runs on Luva, so I kind of feel like maybe trying something else. I you know what? Let's just play Foxy. I'm gonna click Foxy here. Let's not click the demonized units. Maybe it's not right. I haven't even I haven't actually watched the videos. I'm just going off purely. I'm just going off what I saw in this thumbnails because I like when I'm scrolling YouTube I like I see the thumbnails and I was like hey I see those thumbnails <laughs> which is what I would say when I see those thumbnails okay having this foxy should be really nice in this early game because we just start out start out with a spice card I'm gonna play Poochie here for sure yeah, see, it's not just cards that we're drawing. It's all cards. Which is quite good. So I'm just gonna... Crist this allows Crystal Rift to kill the Uba Bear. Definitely want to snow the... Um... Yeah, you definitely want to snow the Goblin. Try to see if you can get a bit of money off it. You get a nice little $12 with Foxy attacking it. You should be walking out with pretty good money in... Should be going in with like okay money into when you go into the next shop. I set up for a multi kill here. I can. Oh wait, but then the goblin would be running away. Um, I didn't think. Okay, I can still set up for this. I just need to keep freezing the goblin. So it looks pretty good. I wait for Poochie to attack. I just have to kill the Goblin here. Because I don't want to let it run away. And then we can get a turn like this. We're getting a double kill. And yeah, we should definitely be walking in with pretty okay money. You know, I can actually deal increased damage to Jumbo if I do that. It, it, it does actually allow you to get lethal a little bit quicker. Because it means the shotgun to the face does kill. Make sure I am recording. We are recording. We are, in fact, doing that. Palm Bomb, Proto Stomper, Sun Cream. I really haven't seen much junk generation in this mod, so I don't... Or, like, stuff that plays with junk in this mod, so I don't really know what I would do with Proto Stomper. I think I'll just take Palm Bomb here as, like, an okay thing for the early game. None of these other options. Although, nah, I'll click Palm Bomb here. Because I was thinking of taking Proto Stomper because you can see Forging Stove in this mod, but we already have, like, Shotgun to the face, so it's like... I don't know. I don't really have anything I want to duplicate. I'll go to the Charm Merch and see if we can get, like, a really cool high roll. Inca Bomb Infested. Okay. We can definitely play Infested 1. We've touched Ra we we've <laughs> we've touched Raven. I shouldn't phrasing phrasing. We've played Raven and we also played Inca Bomb, but we have not played Infested one yet. Sure, let's try this. Let's get infested. Let's infest these. Oof. Wow. This on Foxy seems pretty good to me. I could take all of these and give them to Foxy. Hold up. I think I will be clicking Sun Charm here. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to give this to infest this HP to infest at one. Now we can really get used out of this unit. Out of the unit smackback effect. I could not buy a crown if I... I would need to buy Beetle... I, I, I'm just going to give up on it. I'm probably... We will not buy the... You could do, like, Barrage plus Beetle Charm there, but I don't think it's that strong. I want Overburn hits all enemies. Definitely some potential with that. A drop of Gracie Prop. Pop. Golden Paradise. Is that good on Foxy? It's okay.
It's like fine. God, what if ra radioactive shiv storm? If, although now this is like too expensive. This is not too pricey. And the draw and the trash is. I'll take this. We'll click it. I'll click it. And the setup here should be pretty good. You just got a two turn counter foxy that's just gonna like go to town. This does just increase Foxy's attack by one, which is pretty good. I can take one damage here, which I'm fine with, and we can use Kekfez to avoid Infernoko's attack here. So that's probably good. Oh, I'd also get this off, and I can actually save. I would- I think- I don't think I'm going to use Crystal Rift here. I think I want to save it for maybe some of the backline units in this fight, because I want to try taking out some of the enemies in this fight before things get out of hand. Oh, it doesn't seem like I'm super good at doing that now that I look at things. Because we are just killing Minimoko here. Really would like to- you think I can get a festive one out here? Be really good if I could. Unfortunately, I do not. In fact, we get a pretty crappy hand in general. I can play damage sentient punching bag down here to kill a gobbler. Well, maybe I want to think a bit more combo oriented. I don't know. I think I'll just kill the go with the fine play. I can set the mini Moko up to death. Well, not really. I can't. I think I should just kill the mini Moko. Should definitely hit this lane here with a palm bomb. I need to be careful that I'm not gonna die in this fight. Play Crystal Riff. This would have been a lot better. I maybe wanted to crown. Alright, here I will just be playing. I want to try getting some combo kills, so I'm going to be tr playing Infested 1. Oh, you summon the Goop Fly. You don't... Okay, it's not a card that you just play. That's going to get interesting. That's going to be interesting. Definitely. So it's exploded to... Do something like this. And it will result in a double kill. It's not a multi kill. This is fine. And then you. Yeah, you are getting a triple kill actually, like this. Nice. Or you're getting a quad kill like that. That's pretty cool. Didn't really understand what I was doing there, but it worked out. Hmm. Definitely could do some things with this gnome charm. What if we do a setup where we do like drop of greasy pop and we give it gnome charm? And then we play it on Foxy. And then you can Lumen Vase it. It's 4 attack, 4 shell, 4 block, 4 spice, 4 health. Mmm, I don't know. I feel like Gnome Charm is generally just pretty good. Although I do like Sunbell of Charge quite a bit. I think I'm going to try this. I just want to do some creative stuff here. Ah, 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 shit. All in one bat ink. Hmm. All in one battery acid funny bone. 
Brief attack by three. Apply two overburn. All in one. All in one, all for one. Hmm. Very curious. I'm thinking. So battery acid does can be pretty good on Foxy. And it's like okay on Foxy. I'm since I'm not playing Poochie immediately, I'm gonna take the crown off Poochie. Or I'm just gonna take Poochie off the squad. So I can't play bat I can't play battery acid on Foxy, unfortunately. Well I can play battery acid, but I can't play Newman battery acid. Oh god, this is adding four pieces of trash to my deck. Which is a little sus. If I do, if I go through with the Gnome Charm plan. But Block is like good. I think I will click Battery Acid here because I want to try getting all the attack I can on Foxy. I'm going to do this. This might be like fucking super wrong. This might be super weak. I don't know. This, I think, it's going to make at least this mid game a lot. Hopefully, pretty easy. Unfortunately, I can't get enough attack to kill both of them. This is definitely unfortunate. Oh, wait, yes, I can. Yeah, it, never mind. Oh, oh, God. Wait. I fucking forgot that was, like, reducing my turn counter. Oh, God. Calling the enemies here. Alright, just keep Foxy going. Just keep this Foxy attacking. You know, the block's looking pretty nice here. I'm gonna I'm just say. I will... I'm gonna say it. The block's looking pretty nice here. No... This whole oh god oh god oh fucking god oh it's all falling apart oh it's all fall it is all falling apart this teeth charm is ripping me up man what the hell oh my god I really feel like I really should have died in this fight wait when hit okay so this won't. It. I I need to let this Oh god wait what do I do here? So you're dealing four damage to Foxy. Foxy can survive that. What I just need to do is I need to shotgun to the face gawk here. And hope things will be okay. God this fight I I have not played it well. I have not played it like good at all. I'm gonna palm bomb this wave immediately. I'm not gonna worry too much about making money. At this point, I should just be fine. I can play this on you, Foxy. Just that little bit of extra damage. Can't play infested one. Guess I just get more crystal rifts out. Wait, did I just? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god! I'm not in my element, man. I am out of my element. I've just I feel I've played this fight horrifically. I should be dead right now. Ugh. Yikes. No, well, maybe I shouldn't have recorded at this hour. 
Ugh. Candle's Blessing. Increase turn counter by three. Increase attack by three. Countdown turn counter by three. I think I should take this. We just take more stuff that makes Foxy good. I think... Yeah, I, I think so. I've taken so many items at this point. I don't need more. I just need charms. And money will let me get more charms. Hog charm. God, like... I God, missing a crown here has been so fucking rough. It's been so sad to miss a crown here. God, if I just let- if I just save this gnome charm for when I was able to get Candle's Blessing, it would have been so much better. Although, if, I would have- I would have been dead if I did it like that. Actually. I really- we're getting messed up by some- Bad draws here. Some truly un unfortunate draws. And we it is expected that. It's honestly kind of expected for that to happen. If I'm being honest. Just because, like, we don't... Like, I'm going to have no access to snow on the final fight. He He's doing a little bit of complaining. That has smack back. Oh boy. Oh God. Oh my God. It has smack back. It has smack back. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> I mean, I, okay. I'll be able to attack through these enemies pretty quickly on it I'm really glad to have bucket on this board because bucket will do I play this pom bomb I think I should probably uh shit I need like a f snow here so I could do something like this I lose block on, but Bromble will be alive, so I don't have to, like, call in the enemies again. Although, wait, no, I actually should call in the enemies, so I can make sure. I need to... Alright, I don't think I'm killing this Wooly Drek. I need to make sure... I need to make sure that I'm not to kill that... How many enemies are there? Oh, it's four enemies. Shit. So I could just get fucked up here. I could just get checkmated here if... If Big Lou spawns right here, where the goblin is standing. Okay. Okay. I can snow Wooly Drek this turn, and then I don't to just get off some damage. I think this play is fine. I unfortunately lose Bok on Foxy. But Bromble lives this hit. Can play Crystal Rift this turn. I can shotgun to the face this goblin. Which I don't actually think I want to do. I need to make it as likely as possible. God, then I really don't have anything to do this turn. I want to- I can't- the Doom case is if Big Lou spawns here. Or, no, is- is- is if Big Lou spawns here. So I think killing the gob- the Gromble here is wrong. Or does that really make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if that's actually how the game mechanics work. If I if killing this Gromble means Grom means Big Lou Big Lou is more likely to spawn in this lane. I don't actually know if that's how it works. 
I think this turn I'm just gonna play Battery Acid on Foxy. Keep the Goblin! Huge! Okay, okay. We're, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna- we are gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Big Lou spawn where I needed him to spawn. We- Foxy just gets the kill and then we walk out of this fight. Okay, we're good. We are good. We are okay. Foxy just gets the kill and then we walk. We just walk away. You 100% just walk away from this woolly drack. Good lord. Man, this block is saving me from, like, these fucking dumb mistakes I'm making. I'm, like, turn- I'm- <laughs> I was about to say I'm turned on. But, no, that that means stuff that would mean something else. I'm- I'm ready. I'm awake. God, I really wish we were getting some removals here. The fact that we're not is so sad. I don't think I have room for more treasures. I think I'm just gonna take money. Hmm. 40 is a low roll. None of these are very good. I think I'll just click bomb bomb. And we're gonna hope for the best. You don't need magma booster. You have plenty of, like, strength boosting. I don't think bomb bomb is all that useful here. I have not seen infested one, like, at all. Thankfully, we do have a crown now. Slug Shade Charm. That on Foxy is really good. That's like really, really good on Foxy. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Okay, 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 okay. So what I think I'm actually gonna do, I know I wanna, like, we have this infested one and it'd be okay to give a crown to him. I'm not gonna do that. I'm putting a crown on Lumen Vase and I want a Lumen Vase, a uh, greasy, golden greasy pop. And then I'm gonna put, just so we can always play it when we see it, I'm gonna play, put this on Candle's Blessing. We kinda gotta play this build around the idea that we're not gonna see, <laughs> that we're not gonna see the stuff we're playing. Or we're not going to be cycling through the deck a lot. And we're going to be seeing all our cards only once. Which, I, this, for, so, if, for example, this Numa Biscuit is really bad in this build. Because you can't, like, redraw. We're going to have, like, very little. We cycle through the deck extremely slowly. So you're not going to be able to see, like, your Numa card multiple times. Alrighty. We got our one turn counter Foxy here. This Foxy has... Nine attack with of it, and then we get off Candle's Blessing here. I should have killed you. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I finally get to play Infested One. I've been waiting to play this, man. Alright. This. Oh, yeah, I, I keep running into fucking Crunker. Give me. Give me Truffle Man. Although I am just killing Fox, I am just killing Krunker here, which honestly, I'm fine with. I am good with that. I am a okay with this result. Okay, battery acid on Foxy. The overburn does not matter. I mean, I am just killing. Krunk, Foxy has, ex has, we have hit, Foxy has hit escape velocity. And now we have like turns like this. I'm fine here. Oh, wait. Um, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Spike wall can't catch me here. Okay, oh God. I, for a second there, I thought spike wall caught me. Oh God, that would have been so, 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 so sad. Chuckle Charm is probably really helpful here. Definitely think I'll be clicking this. So you could play Scorchberry Charm if you wanted to give Foxy a bit of HP. Or, no, a bit of attack. The opposite of HP. And I'm fine with it. You're getting that HP back from... Golden Paradise. Uh, 
I think it's fine. I, I, I'm down to settle here. Oh, removal. Thank God. Thank the Lord. All right. We should do really well into gunk bugs, I think. Yeah, it is literally only... It is literally just a worse battle charm, but I'm fine with it. I We are settling. We're out here just settling. Settling. Settling for what we got. Not trying to push for anything, like, super strong. No, you... Ah, oh, you know, okay. On Final Fight, unfortunately, I will not be able to play... Play the uh, Strawberry Charm while uh, I should play this. Because I need to kill this here. I really need to kill the Blaze Beetles. For sure. I'm gonna get some gunk in my build, but it's fine. I won't be able to play. I okay. I need Foxy alone on the field in order for both both hits of Bracy Pop to hit him. And it's because of that, I won't be able to have Bucket on the field to benefit from the Strawberry Charm effect. So Bucket will be missing that plus four HP, which is pretty sad. Hopefully, I can see like a. I should redraw here. Hopefully I can see, like, um, what am I thinking of? What item am I- I can't- I'm thinking of- What item am I thinking of? Or, no, I- hopefully we see straw or HP- Leader HP Bell here. There you go, I- I got there. I mean, like, again, Foxy, we've- we have indeed hit escape velocity with Foxy. One turn counter Foxy? It's pretty damn good. It is just like a the class. It is just the classic Foxy line where, uh, make Foxy big, Foxy go burr. Foxy go, Foxy big, Foxy burr. It's been a while since I. What was the last? What was the last Foxy run I have done? Ah, see, the, I I knew I should have settled here. I. I had a, I, I had a feeling I'd miss both crowns this run. I'm very satisfied with my decision to settle here. I don't know why, I just, I had a feeling we were going to miss both crowns. Well, I guess I'm never going to be able to play Infested one. During Charm. Damn it. <laughs> that would have been better. It's two extra attack on Foxy. So don't feel too bad about it. Did I put this on Palm Bomb or I'll put this on Palm Bomb. Eh, no, I should have. It would have been better to put that on Shotgun to the face. Palm Bomb. Uh, yeah, that, it definitely would have been better to do it. This Spike Wall could fuck me up. Well, I do have a ton of block on Foxy, so hopefully I'll be fine here. Oh yeah, and I can't snow- okay, so I actually do just have to let Foxy get- I can do it like this, and then we can do this. I do have to let Foxy get hit by the spike wall. I have no- I have no ability to dodge that effect, because I can't even play- I can't play- You are not able to play the, um, what is this? Frosty Mint on Clunkers. Definitely calling the enemies here because we got a bit of explode. Go for this. I can battery acid the goblin if I wanted to. I don't hate doing that. Boom. Eh, it's not that good. I'll just call in the enemies again. We could definitely run into some issues here. With against this Bigfoot. But I do have the, um... Alright. My goal here is just to sh try to put as much damage I can on the Bigfoot. Get a little cool... That was cool because you got a little bit of damage with the, um... So, whatchamacallit, the, um... The little overburn there. So that was kind of cool. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. I can just fucking pom bomb that idiot. There you go. 
We will Candle's Blessing here. Seems like it should be good. Ah, it's Uba Bear. And I got no dodging. I got no ability to dodge Uba Bear here. Which is... Scary. Very scary. This whole... The whole reason this build has been doing stuff is because we've had... Foxy just, like, killing everything. And now my Foxy is frozen and I can't do that. Weird positioning there. Or... Like, the goop flies spawned behind infested one there. Kind of interesting that that's how it works. Although I do have a ton of block on Foxy. Like, despite all the scary stuff that has happened in this run, I th the reason where we've gotten to where we are today is because Foxy, we start, Foxy starts each combat off with two to four block. Which has just saved me from my incredible misplays earlier. It has saved my life. Leader health belt, exactly what I was looking for. Again, actually, this might be a setup where breakfast sun bell is worth it. Or breakfast, yeah, wait, breakfast bell is worth it. Because, uh, I think it's fine. I'll click it. Even though we're not getting the immediate value out of Breakfast Bell, this does mean I can maybe get a turn where I can play Bre- Uh, I don't know if this is right, actually, because I did, like, announce earlier that we don't- aren't able to cycle through the deck super well. Although I did get the plus one card draw, so maybe I am- we will be able to cycle around to the deck to play it a second time while our leader is also on the board. I think it should be fine. Should I play with Foxy in the front? Or should I play with Bucket in the front? I'll do f so I get down Infested one immediately. I don't have Snow for Frost Crusher, which is... Although the Goop Flies will actually make Frost Crusher a lot less threatening. Which is cool. Should I spend a turn playing Chili Willy here? God, I really need the Goop Flies. I really don't want the Goop Flies to die this turn. I think I will be playing out this hand. So thankfully I do get the kill on Frost Trailer here. What I will do, I will play gunk, I will play junk on infested one here. And this will keep Oh yeah, because it's smack back. Shit. And it's not on hit. Fuck. Crap. That's not good. Okay, well I have my snow cards now. And we get this turn with our Okay. Um I'm fine with losing battery acid here. I don't really need too much. I'd rather lose that over I'd rather lose that over damage sentient punching bag. So we get two turns of freezy pop on Hold up, I wanna do something. I wanna take a screenshot of this greasy pop for the thumbnail. Or the golden paradise. And then we take a screenshot of Foxy here. And we should be good. Alright, this run. Possibly not as flashy as the other ones we've had, but definitely a one where I had to think a bit more to get my way through it. And I'm down for that. I, you know, you, the run, the broken runs wouldn't be nearly as special if you didn't have. And it's not like I, I feel like I'm underselling this run. I'm. This fun. This run was pretty neat. We got to use. I'm happy that this plan. The the block from. Greasy from the Golden Paradise really is what saved this run. Like, I can't understate that enough. Without that, we would have been dead in the water. And, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, give a bit to Bucket here. Give a bit of love. Let Bucket get a taste of that gold of that golden paradise. Let Bucket get a taste. Alright, sweet. Very good. Very good. I had a good time with that one. Another recording in the back in the basket. Hopefully the I fixed the issue with like the bad video quality. I wasn't able to do that with the last video because I recorded it before seeing the com seeing the comment telling me about it. So we do get to play a new character next time, so that should be exciting. Alright. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode of Wild Frost. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe. And all of you out there, have a nice day.